Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain why it is important to use a random seed in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the rpoise function and the rpoise function is sampling random numbers from the Poisson distribution. So let's assume that we have an R code and in this R code we have to sample random numbers from the Poisson distribution. Then we could do that as you can see in line two of the code. So in this line of code I'm applying the Poisson function and then I'm sampling five values from this distribution. So if you run line two of the code you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console a vector with five numeric values is returned. And these values are 0, 5, 6, 3, and 3. However, if I run the rpoise function again, as you can see in line 4 of the code, I get another numeric vector. So even though I have used exactly the same R code, I'm getting a different result. And this is basically the point why you want to set a random seed when you are dealing with random processes. Because if you don't set a random seed, your examples or your R code will not be reproducible. So I'm going to illustrate that based on another example. So in the next lines of code, I'm using a seed. So as you can see in line six of the code, I'm applying the set seed function. And within the set seed function, we basically just have to specify any number that we want. So if you run line six of the code, our seed is set. And then we can use the rpoise function again, as you can see in line seven of the code. Again, these numbers are different compared to the previous lines of code because in the previous lines of code we have not set a random seed. However, if we run lines 9 again, so we are setting the seed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again, as we already did in line 6. And then if we run line 10, you can see that the random numbers that we have generated with line 10 are exactly the same that we have generated with line 7 of the code. And now I could basically repeat this process as often as I want. And as you can see, I'm always getting the same numbers returned to the RStudio console. So as you have seen in this video, you can use the set seed function to make your random R codes reproducible for other researchers or for other users of your R code. And for that reason, it is very important to set a random seed whenever random processes are involved in your R programming code. So in this video, you have learned how to set a random seed in the R programming language. If you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me thumbs up on the video or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.